So today's video is about species difference in skull. So first, we should start with the horse. Skull of horse. Key features. If you see, the skull of the horse is long and somewhat quadrilateral, four-sided. You can find what? Very extensive foramen lacera. Formal process absent. The zygomatic process meets not only the malar but also supraorbital process of the frontal. So this is the zygomatic process. It meets with the supraorbital process of the frontal and also with the malar bone. Interparietal centrally placed and single bone. You can see interparietal centrally placed and single bone. Parietal forms a part of the roof of the cranial cavity. So you can see so parietal bones. Okay. So they form a part of roof of cranial cavity. Premaxilla. In the premaxilla, we will find six number of alveoli sockets for upper incision. So you can see. So these are the six number of alveoli or sockets for upper incisor teeth. At maxilla premaxilla junction, what you will find? You will find alveolus for canine tooth. You can see this one. Mandible, two halves completely fused. If you see, okay, the two halves of the mandible completely fused, you will not find any mandibular symphysis here. The alveolar border of the body presents six alveoli for the lower incisor and a two for the canines. You can see. So these are the alveoli or lower incisor and canines. Next, skull of the pig. If you see, somewhat elongated, incomplete orbital ring. You can find this one. So this is incomplete orbital ring. It is not complete. Canine teeth well developed. You can see canine teeth well developed. Paramastoid process. Elongated and directed downward. Paramastoid process elongated and directed downward. Coronoid process pointed and short. You can see. So, this one is the coronoid process of the mandible. It is pointed and short. Very small cranial cavity as compared to the ox. So, the cranial cavity is very small as compared to the ox. Wide angle between the two remi. Wide angle between the two remi. So these are the two horizontal remus. Okay. The angle is very wide. You can see here. Then very important. You will find os rostrale. A visceral bone at the rostral part of the nasal septal cartilage. So you can find this one. So this bone is the os rostrale. Okay. A visceral bone at the rostral part of the nasal septal cartilage. Then Skull of dog, horns absent. Basiocipital joins with the bulla tympani. Okay. Basiocipital is joins with the bulla tympani. You can see this is the basilar part of the hospital bone, bulla tympani. They are joined with each other. Highly curved zygomatic process. You can see highly curved zygomatic process. This is highly curved zygomatic process. Parietal bone. Contributes towards the formation of roof of the cranial cavity. So you can see, parietal bone contributes towards formation of roof of cranial cavity. Then, premaxilla presents alveoli for the incisor. Okay, you can see, premaxilla has alveoli for incisors. So this bone is the premaxilla bone. So here you can find the sockets or alveoli for incisor. Teeth. Well developed alveolus for canine tooth. Very important. In skull of the dog, you will find well developed alveolus for canine tooth. So you can see this is the well developed canine tooth and this is the alveolus. Then incomplete orbital rim. You can find the orbital rim is incomplete. This is the orbital rim. Okay. It is not complete. Incomplete orbital ring. 
टू हाफ ऑफ द मेंडेबल फ्यूज इनकम्प्लीटली ओके सो दी आर द टू हाफ ऑफ द मेंडेबल दे आर फ्यूज इनकम्प्लीटली इच हाफ ऑफ द मेंडेबल फेस वॉट यू विल फाइंड थ्री एलवियोली फॉर इंसीजर्स ओके यू कैन फाइंड थ्री नंबर ऑफ एलवियोलीज फॉर इंसीजर वन एलवियोलस फॉर कानाइन ओके कानाइन एंड यू विल फाइंड सेवन नंबर ऑफ एलवियोली फॉर प्री मोलार्स एंड मोलार्स The lateral face of the vertical part of the ramus, the lateral face of the vertical part of the ramus presents a deep masseteric fossa. You can find this one. So this is masseteric fossa. Behind the angle of the jaw, there is a notch and a projection. Okay. So behind the angle, so just behind the angle here, you will find a projection and a notch or depression. Skull of owl. You can see most of the bones are fused, so that the skull becomes very light in weight, and the skull is rigid in nature. So most of the bones are fused, light weight, and rigid skull. Upper jaw is movable due to presence of nasal frontal hinge. Okay. You can see this is the frontal bone, and this is the nasal bone. So in between them, you will find a hinge. So this hinge is called nasal frontal hinge. So that uh, due to this hinge, upper jaw is movable. Then you can see the orbit, uh, very large, adapted for large eyes. Then you will find a single occipital condyle. So in case of fowl, the skull is monocondylic in nature. Means you will find a single occipital condyle. Each half of the mandible is formed by fusion of five bones. Each half of the mandible is formed by fusion of five bones. It completely absent. 